Hey, what's up guys? Mike here. Today I got a little bit of a different review for you. The one question I get asked more than anything else is what bags do I throw? So I thought I'd take a moment, do a little video here of what bags I carry in my backpack when I go to tournaments, as well as kind of what combination of bags I will use for what different situations. I went to a tournament this past week with my son and it was a tournament. I, I didn't know anything about the tournament, the boards or anything, so I kind of set up a pretty generic bag. I thought it was the perfect time. To, to, to bring this video out. I tend, I, I carry uh, six total bags in my backpack here. I'll do three kind of slow to medium and then three sort of fast to faster type bags. I do, I do a good variety unless I know. If I know I'm going to play on boards that are super fast, I may, I'll, I'll tend to lean more towards slower bags. If I know I'm going to play on boards that are super slow, I'll lean more to faster bags. If I know I'm playing and the conditions are gonna be humid and sticky, I'll lean to those faster bags. But in this case, I had no idea what I was getting into, so I set up a pretty basic bag here. And we'll jump in real quick. First bag I hear for my fast bag is the Viper, the regular Viper. My son loves the Vipers, so that's why I brought them along. They're a great bag, I enjoy throwing them. In fact, I got a review of these coming up here the next week or so, so keep an eye out for that. If you're interested, hit the subscribe button so you don't miss out on that review. Um, but all in all, Viper, it's an iconic bag. I keep that in there most of the time. Um, I also brought along the 710 Amnesia. This is the, it's the same as the Ruby bag. It's just that these, I've had these a little longer, a little more broken, a little more hole friendly, that's why I put them in there. If I'm going into an ACL tournament, the 710 bags are my ACL stamp, so I would pull the Rubies out just, just so that I can play with them. But 710 Amnesia. And then I bring on the Costellos, a uh, bag I just reviewed recently here as well. So I've got a 6'8 speed here. A 6.9 speed and a 7.9. 6.8, 6.9, 7.9. Really good variety. Uh, will cover most conditions, especially on slow boards. They're, they're, they'll, they'll, I can handle whatever I need to. A larger template bag to a kind of the more smaller templates. Um, if I was going by myself, I would probably pull the Vipers out. I, I enjoy the Vipers. They're not my favorite. And I'm probably throwing something like a Cutthroat. So it's a little bit floppier bag. So it's a little different from these two. Um, it's a 7.8 speed, so you have a 6.8, 6.9, 7.8. I'm fine with not having that 7.9 speed, uh, but it just gave me a little bit, a little, another option, especially if it's really great about getting around bags. So maybe a change I would make. Um, then on the slow side here, I brought the Reynolds Typhoon, one of my favorite bags. It usually goes, stays in my bag almost all the time. Brought that along. Uh, I brought along the Crazy 8 Dominator, another one of my favorite bags. I absolutely love this bag. I actually have a review, actually a review on both of these, but if you haven't checked them out, check out my channel. Uh, these are great bags. Reynolds you can get pretty much any time. They're always available. Crazy 8, getting harder and harder to get. They're starting to blow up, so if you're interested in getting a set of bags, you've got to jump on them pretty quick and try to catch some of their, one of their, their Facebook drops. Um, the other bag I brought along was the 724 Havocs, another uh, one of those hard to get bags, but I absolutely love this bag, especially for fast board conditions. Now, I would typically have the BG Viking in the spot where the Havoc was, right? It's typically bring that along, and I mentioned that in my review video, I almost have that in my backpack at all times. However, when we got to the tournament, we, my son and I walked up, started checking the boards. The first thing I noticed was the boards had a half inch top to them instead of a three quarter inch. With the half inch top, I knew the boards would be bouncy. The last thing I wanted was a bouncy bag with bouncy boards. It, it just, that, that's, the combination doesn't match well together. So I pulled those out, we ended up throwing the Havocs in. Turned out to be a great call because the, the boards were blazing fast that day and we ended up throwing, throwing the Havocs. We started out with the Typhoons in practice and we just couldn't stop them on the boards. Pulled up the Dominators and the carpet side was stopping, playing well, but this, this is the Viper Fast Side and it was just so fast, we just couldn't use it. So again, the Havocs ended up being our go-to bag. But these are like a four to five spin on the slow side, eight on the fast, the four and a nine, and a five and an eight. So again, a good variety. Um, a couple of changes I might make. Again, if I know I'm, if, if, if I'm going to play on regular boards, I may pull the Havocs out, throw in the Vikings. Um, if I want a more traditional carpet bag, I like to throw in the Epic Bag, the Warriors by Epic Bags. Smaller company, but these are some of my favorite carpet bags. Traditional 4.7 speed on there. Uh, they're, they, they get somewhat floppy. I absolutely love these bags. Uh, I'll have a review coming on these at some point in the future. I don't know when, but if, you're, if you like carpet, love throwing carpet, and you want to try something, um, I, I, I check out Epic, bag, Epic Bags, E-P-I-C, Epic Bags. Um, I'll, I'll put a link in my comments here uh, or the description uh, to their website if you want to check them out, but they're great bags. Uh, the other thing I might bring in would be, especially if I'm going to play on faster boards, I may pull out something like the Amnesia and throw in like a Buffalo Boards Fall X. It's a hybrid carpet. Uh, similar to, to the Dominator, it's just got a little bit 
faster carpet side than this. This is a 4.9, this is like a 6.9 roughly. So a little faster carpet side. So if, if I'm playing on faster boards, I may bring this out as opposed to one of these faster bags. Um, and the only other thing I might, I, I might throw in there as well is the Carnage. Sometimes I'll throw the Big Daddy Carnage. This is the same bag as the uh, Reynolds Victory I did a review on, same materials, almost identical bag. Um, again, this bag's a little bit, little bit more broken than the Victories. That's usually why I bring it along with me. Plus, I, I like the, I like the colors uh, a little bit better, so I bring that along. Um, but all in all, when I go anywhere, these are the three bags that stay in my in my backpack: the, the Dominator, the Typhoon, and the Costello. Stay in my backpack almost all the time, and then I'll add one to, to, to three other bags with it. Right, you know, the four to six somewhere in that range, and it just depends on the conditions or what I'm looking for. Who I'm playing with to what I add to that but these are my staples here and these are kind of the mixture now the back of my car I have a ton of bags I'll, I'll put a picture up for you to see I carry a because I'm doing reviews I'm always buying bags trading bags I keep a good variety and I usually have them in my car just I never know when I'm gonna have time to pull out the boards and go throw and, and just get some practice in so I keep them with me so when I go to a tournament a lot of times I'll, I have this but I have 30, 40 other bags in my car, and if I need to make a change, I can make a change, right? So, if you have any questions about any of these bags, um, I'll put a link to some of these bags, like the um, the the websites or maybe some of their Facebook groups. Some of that's because some some of these are only like like some of these like the seven ten bags um, or and the crazy eight bags. You got to go through their well seven ten is a, a website, but you want to go through their their Facebook page. That's where they announce some of their drops. Um, Crazy Eight, uh, they're I think they're all exclusive right now, only through Facebook on those. Uh, the Epics you can actually order. They have a Facebook group and do some some releases there, but you can order from their website. They they tend to keep a few on their website. Um, the other bags are all pre readily available for the most part. You can just you can check them out. But I'll put a link in in my description here for these bags. And again, if you have any questions, drop them below, comment, reach out to me. However, I'll be happy to, to answer anything for you. So thanks, guys. Appreciate you watching.